Now this is lesson two, multiples of ten, numbers like ten, twenty, thirty, and so on. So it is important to know the five pairs of numbers that add up to ten, like one plus nine is equal to ten, then two plus eight is equal to ten. And three plus seven is equal to ten. Then four plus six is equal to ten, and five plus five is equal to ten. So numbers like this: ten, twenty, thirty, forty. They are very useful, and we call these numbers ten, twenty. Let me write it here: ten, twenty, thirty. Forty, fifty, and so on. These numbers we call them multiples of ten, because they start at ten, then they go up in tens. Ten plus ten is twenty. Then plus ten is thirty. Then plus ten is forty. Then plus ten is fifty, and so on. So, how they are useful? Let's think of a number. Let's say. Thirty-nine. You can see that thirty-nine is close to forty, and forty is multiple of ten. This thirty-nine is close to forty and is one less, one less than forty. And you can also see that let's say fifty-eight. This fifty-eight is close to sixty, and is two less than sixty. This makes it easier to add and subtract numbers. Suppose we have, let me write a section of number line here: thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, and here. Okay. Now, if we, if I want to do thirty-eight plus five, let's say. Now, we know that thirty-eight is close to forty, this, right, and is two below it. So we take two out of this five, right? We take two out of this five to make up to forty. And we from thirty-eight we right right away jumped to forty. So actually we added two, but this two we took from this five, right? So when we are at forty, we already we have used that two. Now out of those five, and we have three more to add on. So here three more will reach. and it seems a little complicated but when you do it in your mind or on the number line you will see it's very natural and using the uh, multiples of 10 is very easier very easy uh, it's easier than the uh, than direct addition or subtraction so we can use multiples of 10 to add and subtract the numbers that are near multiples of 10 like This at thirty-eight or fifty-eight or thirty-nine, and so on. Now we got the answer: forty-three. Thirty-eight plus five is forty-three. Now you notice also that if we wanted, say, let's say we want five plus seventy-seven. Now the answer to five plus seventy-seven will be same. As seventy-seven plus five, so instead of adding seventy-seven to five, we can add five to seventy-seven, because the order of the numbers uh, in addition, the order does not matter. We can always reverse the order if we want to. So in seventy-seven, when seventy-seven is close to what eighty, so when we jump to eighty, we actually add three. And this three we took out of this five, so we have two more to jump. So 
will reach at 82. So 5 plus 77 is also 82 and 77 plus 5 is also 82. Now the main points of this lesson are pairs of numbers that add up to 10. These are very important. This, this and all of these. And second point is uh, recognizing multiples of 10 to use for addition. If there is some number that is close to a multiple of 10, right away we should recognize it. And then we can use, the third point is we can use the number line for adding or subtracting. And number four point is order of the addition can be reversed if we wish. Like this 5 plus 77 is also 82 as well as 77 plus 5 is equal to 82.